The school they're working on now is the result of the 2017 bond issue that passed here in Putnam City. District officials tell me that this new proposal takes another step in providing the best future for the students here. The other thing that is historic about this bond proposition is that it reaches every single student in the Putnam City School District. From academics to the arts and even athletics, no one is left out of this new bond proposal. But it also reaches every single school site that we have. Charity so, Hurst with Putnam City School says the money will be used for security upgrades, much needed repairs and renovations. For example, we have one cafeteria floor at one of our school sites that's over 40 years old. I mean, the school district of Putnam City, it's itself is over 100 years old. If the bond is passed, more than 18 million would be spent on a new gym at Putnam City West. That includes a storm shelter. It would also allocate more than 28 million to the Centennial Center that would house a performing arts center. District officials say they'll also be improving technology by giving every high schooler a mobile device where they could access digital textbooks. We know that that is the best way for our kids to learn now and in the future, and we have to constantly stay ahead of that. A second proposition on the ballot would be for new bus in February 11th, 2020 is when voters will get a chance to decide on this. The district officials tell me it would raise property taxes by $2.48 a month for a $100,000 home. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.